kids protect their music. If you're like, I found this all on my own. I want For indie kids, it's, it's a personal thing and they're proud of it. They go to these shows that no one else knows about. It's just like punk rock in the early 80s, you know, we were all down with Descendants and Minor Threat and whatnot. We didn't want that to be exploited, but yet it did. People started wearing cons, they started wearing, you know, belts, you know, stud belts, whatever, and we got pissed off. No one wants their community to be exploited. No one. No matter what community it is, no one wants to be exploited. That's basically what indie rock is. However, a lot of a lot of people that I know that listen to the music that we make or that we like to listen to can be really elitist. And I'm not gonna back them. You know, they don't want to be exploited, I understand that. But at the same time, you know, music is music and it should get out to everyone. There's always gonna be like a music snob in every city. It's like, you know, I knew about this band when they first came out, now this and that, you know. Now that everybody knows about yeah. them, they suck! People love ownership of their music. People love to be the one that tells their friends, guess what, I have this great band. I guarantee you haven't heard them, check them out. And there's this really cool, clicky kind of thing of knowing like the cool music scene. It was also kind of like secretive and like, oh, I, I found out about these guys and they're awesome and you share them with your friends instead of saying, oh, did you hear this song on K-Rock? And, and it's played every, yeah, they you know, played it every, every 30 today, minutes. Dude. And it's just spreading the good vibe of music, which is what we want to do, and people that help us spread it by being there for it. You know, it's just, we're totally honored by their presence and we love it. I go out all the time just like that. I like to use the uh, powers that the Fifth Amendment gives me <laughs> against self incrimination. Do you guys want more liquor? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I know. Slightly more raucous kind of sound. It's sort of like organized mayhem in some ways, I guess. So, thank you. That's really bothering me. Oh, be careful. God. Stop! this documentary somehow make us look cool? Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, whatever. My name is John Wagner, J-O-H-N-W-A-G-N-E-R. Um, the band's name is Sugar in Wartime. It's S-U-G-A-R. actually kind of bummed out when I wanted to be a lawyer um, in high school and because just keep keep your head on <laughs> <laughs>